Hey guys. Hello, how are you? It's coffee chat time. And I'm coming to you live from Helena's room with Elsa, her dream catcher, her unicorn, me, and this really beautiful, shiny, sparkly Christmas decoration. I just a Wi Fi in here in her room. I mean, it's right next to the router, so. <laughs> I know I get a way better recording then. All right, so how are you guys? To How are you doing? How is this whole new adventure of living going for you? I know it's interesting. It's interesting for me. I mean, the future is so undefined yet and very uncertain it's it's interesting and it feels so weird which makes me feel like I just feel weird and I know nothing is wrong um, because the second I make it feel like wrong or like something is wrong then that's not very much fun so when I'm feeling weird I'm like how much is changing like what if that weird feeling you're, you've got going on, what if you're just aware of all of the energetic and physical changes that's happening right now on the earth? <sighs> and once I acknowledge how much change is happening, that usually helps me have a little more space with it, a little more ease with feeling weird and uncertain. Hi, Robert. How are you? Um, yeah. So, I got a question submitted today. Um, I'm just going to bring it up on my computer to read it for you guys. Okay, so. So she says, <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm asking for here, but here's my situation. Shit just got real for my family. A friend of my brother has the virus and is on a vent uh, and is on a ventilator in the intensive care in Montreal. The thing is, the man spent all day with my brother, my sister-in-law, my nephew, my cousins and friends about a week and a half ago. He cooked food for everyone. My nephew is now back here in Bonnie where we are, so we have all been exposed. I'm not worried about myself or my family members under the age of 65, but a lot of those dear to me back in my hometown are over 80. And even though I know that this is life, I find myself going down the rabbit hole of what ifs. And then I get upset with myself for doing it, and I'm very teary this morning. I would appreciate any insights you might have. Thank you. Well, the first thing that pops, the first thing that pops to talk about is, hi, mom, hi, Bobby, is um, have you ever acknowledged how much you care? Yes, all of you watching right now, have you ever acknowledged how much you care about people, about your family, about the planet, about people you probably don't even know? Have you ever acknowledged how much you care? Now, it's interesting because what if caring is a superpower and a capacity? Um, something for me that showed up, like this was something that came up for me last summer. Um, I never acknowledged how much I cared about like so much about all of the people in my life, about all of the people who take riding lessons with me, about their horses, about my friends, about my family. I've never, I had never acknowledged how much I cared. And what that was showing up for me as was like this really weird, I wanted to be pissed off, but I couldn't. Um, and it just felt really wonky. And, but I wasn't like, it was just really crunchy. And, and I wouldn't allow myself, it's funny because it felt like I couldn't allow myself 
to know how much I cared because somehow I had twisted that up and bought the lie that that was a Um, And so what if it's not? And so have you ever acknowledged how much you care, not just about your family, but actually about the whole world? And when you can allow yourself to acknowledge that and even perceive that ability, that capacity in you, it starts to create more space around everything in your life, actually. Ah, So anything that doesn't allow you to perceive, to know, to be, and receive how much you actually care will you destroy and create all of that times a godzillion and now i'm going to say that clearing statement phrase again those really funny words right wrong good bad all nine pod poc shorts boys and beyonds um that is the access consciousness clearing statement um so what what can show up when you don't acknowledge how much you actually care is you bastardize that capacity and use it against yourself. So you hide it. Um, And when you try to contain an energy like that, it hurts. Um, And what if it's okay? So what I would really... What really pops is just, what if it's okay to care so much about somebody and about some people in your life that you allow yourself to cry? Sometimes the bodies also need that release of tears, and that's okay. And you can just, and it's like this weird receiving, releasing dissipating thing crying can be not crying from the trauma and drama of oh my god like you know being really dramatic about it but just allow yourself to be with that caring energy that you are that you be and allow just the tears to show up if that's what shows up don't resist them don't try to stop yourself don't judge yourself you are not wrong you are just extremely caring And that is a power that you have and an ability and a capacity. (sighs) Be that. And maybe, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe you could even phone each one of them and just say hi. And you don't have to tell them anything you know your ability to be that caring energy when you be that it changes things when you're present with them molecules will start to shift and change around you when you are being that caring that you truly be that is the phrase being you changing the world in action And so even a phone call, you know, if somebody's popping into your awareness, if somebody's getting your attention, if you find yourself thinking about somebody, and in this lady's case, it could be her family members that are over the age of 80 and therefore more more exposed and at risk with the coronavirus, maybe it is just phoning them. And being with them energetically, just saying hi, having whatever conversation they want to have, but just being that caring that you truly be with them. And that might invite another possibility to show up. And you never know what that is. And if they do get sick and they do die, you know that their energy and their being is still, it's only the body that dies. Um, yes. 
So I wonder if there's any weirdness in your world right now, any wonkiness with what's going on. Maybe it's somewhere you're pissed off and you don't know why and you're feeling frustrated and you're feeling irritable and irritated. Ask yourself the question, have I ever acknowledged how much I care about my town, about all the people around me, about all the businesses? Have I ever acknowledged how much I care? And just allow yourself to to be with that. And don't turn it off and don't shut it out and don't shove it into a box. Don't hide it. Just allow yourself to be that caring for everybody, for everything. And anywhere, you know, sometimes we think that it's, sometimes this caring potent energy can be so powerful. We actually are worried it will destroy us energetically. I mean, we don't actually think that we'll kill ourselves with caring, but um, it's almost like we almost turn it off and we almost won't even allow ourselves to know how much we care because it is a potent energy that is strong and can change and it can catalyze changes. We're worried that it will destroy us and it will destroy the people around us. And so anywhere and everywhere that you've bought that lie, will you destroy and uncreate all of that times a godzillion? And I'm going to say those funny words again. Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, poc, shorts, boys and beyonds. Because it can feel like if you allow yourself to care as much as you do, it will, it, it feels like it could overwhelm you. It feels like it could take you over. But what if everything is the opposite of what it appears to be? And nothing is the opposite of what it appears to be. And what if it's actually inviting you to that space of be you, be the caring that you be and change the world? And it's a totally nonlinear thing I can't tell you what to do. I can only tell you to ask the question and be with the energy that shows up. And so when it's crunchy and you're cranky and it feels like everything is, well, everything is, you know, different, how much is changing and how much do you actually care about everybody and everything and the planet and the animals and just allow that energy to get big and substantiate and be present with it because your presence with an energy your presence with molecules your ability to be present they start to change just by your very acknowledgement and being And I did not, when I first started playing with these crazy tools of access consciousness, I was like, come on, but it's true. And what changed so much for me, since I've acknowledged that I'm a caring person and how much I care, has it, everything has gotten greater. (sighs) Ah, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Hi, Loretta. Hi, Lori. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Nurhan. Hi, Brody. I'm so excited to have you. Um, So go forth and just care. And it's okay. It's not a weakness. It's a superpower. And um, for those of you that jumped in at the end, I would, you should watch it from the beginning. Bye bye for now, and thank you so much, you guys. I adore all of you. Times a godzillion.